what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's your boy terry by reacts here back with another reaction episode eight of the god of high school man i'm really getting really excited about watching this show i'm not gonna lie to y'all i'm getting excited just clicking the record button now <laughs> you know what i'm saying and watching and reacting to the show because um not only are we learning more about the world of the god of high school i don't understand why this is even named high school i that's one of the things too where i'm just like why is this name high school why why make this competition about high school why make anything about this about high school to the way how things are going like our it's, i don't get it <laughs> you get what i'm saying any high schooler or any kid all of them look like grown ass people anyways i mean han is working two jobs you, you know what i'm saying han is working two jobs you got um jen he's probably the only one that i would say fits the ballot as a high schooler because he acts like one he still acts like he's a teenager mira doesn't act like a teenager han does not act like a teenager like nobody i mean why are kids having access to these powerful godly powers you know what i'm saying like it's crazy you know what i mean but anyways guys um we're getting there we're getting there we're gonna see what happens we're gonna see how it goes you know what i'm saying you know you already know yeah you know i'm saying so i'm looking forward to that to seeing what more they're going to show us what more they're going to reveal to us in this first season and to see how things go down um i'm looking forward to see what they're gonna do about um han and his you know what i'm saying like him interrupting that last match and also seeing what's going to be the result of that so we'll see how it goes it you know what i'm saying like i don't know i don't know that dude that has the it looks like a shark shark powers or whatever seems like he can just open a, a, a dimension of shark teeth or whatever summon a shark or for many it seems like that's what he can do so let's jump into it don't forget to like the video now yeah i didn't freeze i was waiting on you to click the like button let's go Damn. Ha! 
What style of fighting is that? Tekken? Whoa. What about it? Oh. Oh, they told him about Tejin. ちゃくりきによるものです。そして我々が確認したところ、この結婚がジン・テジンに見えたとわかりました。But you're still worried about him, though. <laughs> Oh, let's go. Oh, so he does know his grandfather. But how?
気をつけた方がいい。お前も十分危ねえけど。せえ、大丈夫か。なんか心配なく。話せて嬉しかったです。また会場で。ありがとうな。次に戦うときは止めませんよ。ああ。チャクリキー。チャクリキー。チャクリキー。チャクリキー。チャクリキー。チャクリキー。チャクリキー。チャクリキー。チャクリキー。チャクリキー。チャクリキー。チャクリキー。チャクリキー。チャクリキー。チャクリキー。チャクリキー。チャクリキー。だけどそれを俺には言わない今の自分が頼りないからだって今後やつは間違いなく GOH を苦しむもはやいいのかそう事態は一刻を争う神の偉大さを忘れてこの世界を堕落させた人間だあろうこと神に並ぶ力まで手に入れようとしているのだこれ以上奴らを野放しにしていても審判員のリミッター解除を許可しノックスを見つけ次第全力で戦う無論潜んでいる裏切り者もだ彼らを阻止し何としても神にあだなす鍵を破壊せよ神を引きずり下ろす鍵は必ず手に入れる戦争だ Okay, oh, that's what they got the alert about. It's cool, man. Cool beans. I like it. So it's basically what I said. It seems like they're going to have to fight a handicap of not having Han. Oh, 
Oh, damn. That's new. Shit. <laughs> All right. So that was episode eight of the God of High School. Um, so yeah, it was Maury's birthday. And they all got alerted. So it was pretty cool, man, to end the episode like that. But also um, to see him getting that message at the end. So Zintagen is in trouble. I don't know, it's like they have him locked up. I'm guessing they're trying to pull Jin out or something. I don't know what they're trying to do. But this this guy, you know what I'm saying? I don't remember his name. I'm, guess, I'm, gonna, I'm guessing he's probably going to be a regular in the series. Um but he knows the you know what i'm saying he knows Tejan, right from his younger days they probably they probably met but of course you know maury's not going to remember him maury's not good there's no way maury's going to remember him so i mean he was a baby baby you know what i'm saying so Tejin is a pretty cool dude man like you know what i'm saying like to tell him that and you know to kind of you know bring him something and tell him that his grandfather was a pretty cool dude and stuff like that and and all this other stuff so in my opinion when it comes on um to this series and how it's it's going there and getting ready for something big Knox seems like there seems like they're formidable opponents i don't know if that other guy i guess he just got I guess he just he's just messed up because dude beat him up when he was probably they were, when they were younger. I, I don't know. I don't know what happened between the two of them, but he just keeps attacking the dude. Um, but dude is a problem. He's a problem. I don't I don't remember what his name is. Um, but you know, Jin is practicing, but I think he does need. I know he's saying that he don't want to check a Ricky or whatever they call it. Um. I know he's saying he don't want it, but I think he's going to have to get it. You know what I mean? Like, I think in some sort of way, he's going to have to achieve this. There's no way we're going to have him doing regular moves this entire time and beating people. Like, it's because it's, it's not that type of series. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, it's not that type of series um, because it's not like, you know, he's not going to attain this power and then he's going to take out everybody because it's not just about the tournament obviously that this whatever is going on is bigger than the tournament itself of course these guys from Knox are trying to interrupt the tournament i don't know why they keep referencing this key like they're trying to find this key and i'm guessing someone's power is the key to to bring in god out of heaven i don't know like i'm just trying to read between the lines and and hearing what you know people like park are talking about and you know what he's, he, he he told the administrators or the commissioners as they call themselves um he told them that they can go all out when they see these Knox do take off your limiters and go all out you have permission to do that um you know it, when it certain things that I see happening in this series and as I said before there's certain things that just didn't make sense or maybe stuff is being wrongly translated in certain scenarios. Like we're talking about, um, let me see if I can remember his name because I'm going to sit here and keep, you know what I'm saying? They say his name a couple of times during the episode. I just can't remember his name. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go back and look because they say his name a couple of times during the episode and even when he was about to fight too i just want to know his name because it seems like they went you know what i'm saying he might be a regular in the series just because you know what i'm saying um so i'm here scrolling back through the video to see what his name is right so it's just to me when it comes on to you know certain things in this series it's just it's just weird you know what i'm saying and as much as i love to i love i love to see yeah you know i'm saying lore and stuff like that it's just the way how you do it it's just you don't want to confuse your audience you know what i mean 
Okay, his name is actually Part 2. So is he related to Part Mujin? Is he related to him? His name is Part 2. Is it Ilpio? Is it Ilpio? Um, I don't know. He may be related to Park. I don't know. But his name is Park 2 because I actually had that in my mind that his name was Park 2. But, you know, I, I didn't want to get it messed up. I actually thought that or remembered that his name was Park. But I didn't want to talk and didn't know for sure. So, um, uh, so is it Ilpio? I think that's his first name. Um, but in any case, when it comes on to what they're trying to do during these episodes and building the lore and building this sense of urgency and stuff like that. How is Jin now going to respond to finding out that his grandfather is in pretty bad shape? He's not dead, but he's in pretty bad shape. He lost an arm for sure. We know that, right? So how is he going to respond to this? Is he going to get serious? Is he going to get unlock this power? Is he the key? You get what I'm saying? They keep referencing this key. It's like we have to keep these people in the competition to find out who the key is. As I said, it seems like some whatever is going on is larger than you know what we think it is. It's way bigger than the tournament. The tournament is basically a precursor to the bigger picture of what's going on. I don't know what this group Knox is up to. They seem to have an agenda that we're trying to fight against. You know, Park knows about it. We still don't know what they're about or what they're trying to do. It seems like they're just a cult that's like, oh, this world has forgotten who God is or these people are abusing the power of God and whatever the situation is, we should stop this. So it's like a self, you know, I don't know what it's self-preservation cult. If you want to call it that where they're, where they're just like, Oh, God is supposed to be the only creator. God is the only one that should have these powers. Um, we're the only ones that are worthy of having God's power. You know what I'm saying? I'm guessing that's what they're thinking too. Um, so it's that kind of cult, but in any case, from what I'm looking at and from what I'm seeing is those type of things, you know what I'm saying? And I'm glad that they're addressing them and bringing up this kind of lore because it, it intrigues you, um, within the, the, the mystery of the entire anime of, you know, what kind of powers can these people attain? We're going to see those different powers. Hopefully they're in the future when we see battles of, you know, the animation gets a lot better of how they portray these, these, these things. And I mean, so far so good. It's pretty decent. It's not anything spectacular. So you know, usually, you know, studios usually save their budget for like, you, you know what I'm saying? They're not going to give it to you. Most studios are not going to give it to you. So early on in the season, most of the time you're going to see that gorgeous, just really good animation for something great that they're planning to end the season on. They'll save it for those really action packed out landish episodes they'll save the budget for that um so i'm looking forward to whatever is going to happen at the end of season one it better be top tier s tier animation it better be because for all the powers that i've seen so far as in the fight between the commissioners and the Knox in the at the top of the, that um um building i'm guessing that was um q's apartment or whatever up there like the fight that went on up there, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't the greatest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it was, it just wasn't the greatest thing I've ever seen. I've seen a lot of great animation, but they could have done that a lot better, but the all in all, they did an excellent job for what it is. As I said, um, it was pretty cool to see them actually go all out against, um, two of you know, Knox is people too. They, you know, one had wings and the other was just cussing, <laughs> you know, and she had a really cool laser gun too. Um, so I don't know. It's like some, it's, it seems like some people can summon beasts. Some people can summon, you know, God, these godly powers, like these legendary powers, you know what I'm saying? That, you know, maybe you've 
seen in fiction or something like that. It seems like that's the route that they're going. Um, you know, it is what it is. But in any case, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, that is all I have to say. You can see the um, the worry on my face. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm I'm worried that this is gonna become cheesy like dragon ball z i'm a little worried about that but at the same time i'm still intrigued to know more about this chiri riki whatever they call it <laughs> anyways thank you guys so much for um tuning in as always man make sure you hit that like button if you have not done so already leave a comment on the video you might agree you might disagree with me it is what it is it's my style of reacting i like to dissect what i'm seeing based on what i see um i'm not one of those people who's just going to you know if it's you know i'm i'm not gonna tell you that i'm enjoying something just for the sake of enjoying it you know what i'm saying i'm just not the type of person like most you're gonna have those people who are gonna be like man i just want you guys to enjoy it man just enjoy it I'm not that type of dude man like if i'm enjoying something you're going to know but it's not gonna be just because you see me smile every time something on screen is I'm going to explain to you why I'm enjoying what I'm enjoying. And if there's something about it that I'm not enjoying, then I'm going to tell you that I'm not enjoying that about it. And I'm a little worried because this is feeling a little Dragon Balls, um, Dragon Ballish, Dragon Ball Superish. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, um, you know, you, it just feels like that to me. And, you know, I'm hopefully, you know, what I'm saying, if anything, you know, after the first season and I still don't have a full, I'll probably go and just read the webtoon up to that point of where this season ends to see if it's any different. Because right now, as I said, there's certain things like the background of certain characters, man. Like, I don't get it. Like some of these backgrounds, like. The, the whole mother leaving him there just didn't make sense to me. Like you, And it's not because, you know, I've had my two parents. It's not because of that why I can't relate to this. I'm not saying that it's impossible that his mom just left him because the dad died. But why? Most mothers are not going to do that, man. But it just kind of, it just, I don't know. It's not even a situation where it's like, you need to train and get stronger. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't even a situation. Like, it was just like, oh, that's the day my mom walked away. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm out. Peace.